Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. We had a question on one of our videos. Somebody wanted an image with an icon and then they wanted to have a call to action on hover. So we've got an image there with a little wine glass icon on it. When we roll over it, it's going to pop up with a bit of text and a button there. And when we let go, it's going to pop off. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today. I'm using the free version of Elementor here. So let's get started. I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor button. I've got a section here and it's got three columns in it. I'm going to go over the right hand column over here. Let's add an image to our column first thing we want to do because the way these things work is we've got the icon and the text as modules or widgets here and the image that you're looking at is actually residing in the column that they're sitting in. So I'm going to go into the column, the dark tab there, just click on it. It'll say edit column at the top here. I'm going to go over to style, background type. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush. I'm going to add an image. So add whatever image you want. I'm going to size mine. I'm going to make it cover. There we go. Okay. We've got a little bit of a border around the outside. I want to get rid of that so when we put our widgets in it's going to cover it completely. So while we're in the column I'm going to go over to advance. I'm going to take all the padding away by giving it zero all round. If we've got the little chain there checked like it is by default it'll do all four at once. I'm going to add 10 pixels margin all around which you'll see when we put the modules in we'll push it all together. Okay well let's go up to our little matrix up here. I'm going to add an icon. So I'm just going to left click drag it and drop it in there. Okay let's find an icon that we want. You can go to the icon library or you can upload an SVG if you prefer. I'm going to go to the library and let's put that wine glass in again. There we go, right there. I'm going to hit insert. And there it is, it's popped it into the top there. I want to push it down from the top a little bit, so I'm going to go over to the advanced and I'm going to give it 25 pixels padding on the top. It doesn't matter about the left, right and bottom, it really doesn't matter, so I'm going to leave that check so it'll do all four. And I actually want to make that icon a little lighter in color so I'm going to make it white there we go that stands out nicely okay now I'm actually going to add a text module down below and we're going to create a button and a little title so let's go back to our matrix I'm going to add a text editor just left click and drag drop it where you want it which is just below our icon there and you can barely see it in there let's just change our writing to white. So we'll go to over to style, typography, here's the text color. There we go, we can see what's going on. I'm going to pop it in the middle. Let's go back to our content now and do what we want to it. Well I want a little title. So I'm going to drop down. I'm going to say fine wine. Now let's make that bold perhaps. Just hit the little bold icon there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to drop down a little bit here and we're going to create a button. Now let's say learn more. Or whatever it is you want your button to say right there. And you can see it right there. Now to turn it into an actual button with the pro version you've got call to action modules and things like that so you can put button links in with text but we're using the free version today so we've got to do a little bit of HTML to get this done today so I'm going to flip from visual to text mode little tabs at the top here I'm going to select our learn more I'm going to hit it link Put in the URL of where you want to link it to, your wine page or wherever it is that you want to take your customers when they click on it. I'll just put a hashtag in there. Best practice, 
If you're linking to your own site, leave it how it is. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. I'm going to leave mine in the same tab right there. So I'm just going to add that as a link. And there we have, we've had, we've got it. It's added it as a link there. Okay, well, let's style it up a little bit here. So I'm going to write style equals, and I'm going to open and close some inverted commas. So that's two lots of inverted commas. Inside, we can write the style that we want. Well, for a start, I want that to be white in color. So I'm going to say color. Hashtag FFF, semicolon, which is white. As you can see, that's turned it white. And let's give it a bit of padding all around. Top and bottom, I'm going to give it 10 pixels. Left and right, I'm going to give it 15 pixels, semicolon. Now, so you can see it, we'll give it a background color. So I'm going to say background. Let's say purple. Obviously, you make yours whatever color you want there. Okay, I want to push it down a little bit for our, from our text there because it's over the top of our text. So let's just wrap our text here in some paragraph tags so it knows it's a separate paragraph from our link. To do that, left pointy bracket, P, right pointy bracket, and to close it out, right after our full stop there, left pointy bracket, forward slash, P, right pointy bracket. There we go. And that's giving it a bit of space down below there. That's great. Let's go back into our advanced and over in advanced, I'm going to give it a background color so we can see the icon and the text module separately. So there's background. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush. I'm going to give it a color. I'm going to give it black. As you can see, that's black. I'm going to take the opacity down so we can see some of the image behind, which is the slider down at the bottom there. It's great, just so we can see it. Now I'm going to give it a bit of padding on the bottom and on the top. So let's go to our layout just above here. Let's start off, I'm going to give it 25 picks all around because the chain is highlighted. It'll do all four at once. Okay, that's okay, but I want some more on the top there. So let's try making the top 125. So I'm going to uncheck the chain. I just want to do the top. That's great. But I want to pull this up now so it's covering our little icon. So let's go up to our margin now. And I'm going to uncheck the link. And the top, I'm going to take it down to negative 1. And take it up by minus 125 which as you can see is pulled it over the top of our icon there. Fantastic. Okay, now what we want is we don't want to see this part with the button and the text until we actually hover over it. All we want to see is the image and the icon. So let's give this a class, CSS class. I'm going to call it wine HV for wine hover. Call yours what you want. It wants to be unique and it wants to make sense to you. Okay. Let's go back to the dashboard. And we're going to bring up our customizer now so that we can use some custom CSS. Once you're in the customizer with most themes, you'll find additional CSS down the bottom. If you don't find yours there, have a look in your documentation because there should be somewhere to add additional CSS. I'm going to drop down. And we gave ours a class of wine hover. It's a good idea to give your CSS titles if you write a lot of it like I do. That way it's easier to find. It's also a courtesy if anybody comes and edits the site after you. So forward slash, star star, forward slash. Anything that you write in between the two stars will not be read as code. So it's a great place for titles. So we'll say icon to text on hover. Great, now we can drop down. We gave it a class name and I'll put this CSS down below the video for anybody that wants to copy it. I can't put the HTML down there because it won't let me put in the pointy brackets. So all class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them. Then a class name, which is wine HV for hover. I'm gonna open 
some curly brackets. And I'm going to make that invisible. Opacity. Colon. Zero. Opacity is transparency or see-throughness, if you like. And as you can see, or as you can't see, it's disappeared. And we're just left with the icon and the image. I'm now going to copy that whole thing from the dot to the closing curly bracket there. Control C. And I'm going to paste it down below. And just after the V of wine HV there, with no space, I'm going to put colon and no space again and the word hover. So we can set a different value for when we're hovering our mouse over it. So I want to say opacity 1. Now the time it takes to get from completely see-through to completely visible and opacity you can set from 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and get different increments going up depending on the transparency you want. But I want it fully visible there and invisible there. Time it takes to get from those is pretty much instant if I do that. I like to slow it down for a little bit of drama and it looks like we've got to just add another 30 pixels padding or something on the bottom there. So I'm going to slow it down with a bit of transition duration. And it's prompted us down there. I'm just going to click on that colon. I'm going to give mine about three quarters of a second. So 0.75s semicolon. That'll make it a lot more gradual. There we go. So let's publish that. Make the changes permanent. Let's go back. I want to go in here. I just want to add about another 25 or 30 pixels padding on the bottom because it's not quite covering that image. So again, I want to make sure that's unchecked so we're not doing them all. Let's update the bottom to about 50. That's worked fine. Let's update that and we'll take a look. And there's our little image with the wine glass icon. When we hover over, taking three quarters of a second for our text and button to fade in. So there you go, guys. There's an image with icon to call to action on hover. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. I'm going to flip back to here and I'll just leave it on our content page for a minute on the text on the text for anybody that wants to see the HTML for the button there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take a look at our Elementor Hover video playlist down below if you want to learn some more hover tricks with Elementor. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.